welcome to Nature Tastic with Henry. Today I'm here at Highlands Estate to learn about the oak tree and it all starts with one of these, an acorn. And I'm going to go and meet Ed who will tell me about these oak trees. Hi Ed, nice to meet you. Morning Henry. So we're here to talk about oak trees. Yep. So where do we start? Well, before they get to that big, before they get to that big, we start here. So what have we got here? So here, we've got three acorns that sprouted from the millions of acorns that fell from the oak trees in this park last year. So how did they get here? So they would have most likely have been moved by birds and other animals that would have taken them from the trees and either uh, taken them out here to hide them or dropped them in their flight path. So what's an acorn? Well, in a nutshell, it's an oak tree. <laughs> but seriously, the acorn contains nutrients required to get the tree started, putting out its first roots and shoots. So this tree has been planted. Can you tell me a bit about it, Ed? Yeah, so this tree has been planted by the council. It's uh, a few years old and its primary job is to grow up straight and get as much sunlight on its leaves as possible. And what you'll notice is that as the sun rises over there and sets over there, all of these branches are a lot longer and the tree's already started to grow towards the sun to get as much light as it can to make food. We've just found this on the floor and it shows us the really distinct shape of the leaves from the oak tree. So this stage it's pretty big but there's no acorns. Can you tell me a bit about this? Yeah, so this tree has established itself quite well. So its roots underground are getting plenty of water and it's got loads of leaves to get loads of sunlight. So what this tree is going to continue to do now is put out growth each year, and this is one bit that's grown this year, um, to get bigger and bigger and bigger so that it can make as much food as possible. And when it does make enough food as it can, then it will start to produce acorns at around about 40 years old. Okay. Later in the year, the acorns will be fully sized and ready to drop and produce the next year's saplings. How old is this tree? So this tree is very, very, very old. It's very difficult to give you an exact age on the tree, but what we do is class this as a mature tree now. So the tree has got a massively straight, strong trunk. It's got millions of leaves growing on it. And you will notice, I'm going to might need to cut here, the tree has just about started to produce acorns as well now so this tree is reproducing and giving lots of other little oak trees you'll also notice if you look underneath the tree that it's got bramble and hawthorn longer grasses that's what's called the understory layer so this tree on its own is almost forming its sort of mini woodland i've heard that 2300 different species of birds mammals and invertebrates and plant life can live and from um, from a tree, is this true? Yes, so you can see on this tree, looking up there and right above your head, there's a great big wound where there was once a big branch. Now in that we can see a spider's web, so we know that there's most likely going to be spiders in there. Looking at the bottom here, you can see that there's cavities, so we might find certain types of mammals that burrow under the tree there. This little plant here is a common elder, and that's got blackberries on it. So it's most likely that a bird was once up there and that's um, grown from its bird's droppings. And then if we come over here, Henry, you can see different types of mushrooms and fungus. Like that big one there. And these are growing off of the tree's deadwood. So all of these different plants and animals are all benefiting from this one tree here. An oak tree can live for nearly a thousand years. Most of that's in decline. So that's what's happening here. Yeah, exactly. So this is what we call a veteran tree. So these are amongst the, the rarest of, of, of tree species. So this tree is many centuries old and it's got lots of deadwood and lots of cavities and you can see a great big cavity there at the bottom. So by putting this fence up, that tree could stay that sort of size and, and be here for another 500 years potentially. So is this the end of the life cycle? No, nope, we're going to show you one more. So this tree looks very beautiful, um, but why do you leave it here? So yeah, this is a dead tree and it is indeed very beautiful. Uh, we leave them here because even when trees aren't growing or alive anymore, they're very important sources of habitat. 
as the wood starts to decay down, there'll be new uh, species of insect that, that call this place home. Um, and also, in an area like this where there are many other live younger oak trees, for example, um, this will act as a, as a source of attraction for pests and diseases. So if there's any nasties flying around here looking to, uh, to, to make a tree ill, it's easier for them to go for the dead tree than it is for the li live healthy trees. So we're here with another dead oak tree, and um, what other uses can it have? Yeah, so not all dead trees um, we use to become habitat. There are many different uses that we use now and have used historically for trees. Um, we can plank this up to make timbers, which can make roof supports and benches. Uh, things like firewood and wooden stakes that we saw at the veteran oak tree will also be made from things like this. So it's not just a case of leaving it for the, for the creepy crawlies. Fascinating. Um Thank you for your time, for showing me around Highlands Park. And with that, bye from Nature Tastic with Henry. Bye!